This world is full of so many things, and one of those is animals. Animals roam the air, the land, both above and below, the seas, and everything in between. And not unlike humans, they come in a variety of shapes, sizes, and colors. But unlike humans, their sizes can at times grow to be downright gargantuan. To the extent that they make you wonder if we are living in prehistoric times, even though we're very much in modern ones. From a blue whale to an odd creature that washed up on a beach, here are 20 giant creatures caught on camera. Number 20. Blue Whale Now if I'm going to talk about the biggest animals ever caught on camera, then I absolutely should be talking about the largest mammal or animal in our world via the blue whale. Now, to be clear, there are technically things longer than this whale, but in terms of pure size and bulk, well, it just doesn't get bigger than this. That's right, the blue whale comes out on top every single time. Not the least of which is because they can be about 100 feet in length at times, if not longer based on unconfirmed reports, and weigh anywhere up to 199 tons. Some of the biggest individuals may eat up to 6 tons of krill per day. That's a lot of fish. Blue whales are found in all oceans except the Arctic, and there are five currently recognized subspecies of blue whales, which is great except for one major problem that you all likely know about in regards to whales in general. The number of blue whales today is only a small fraction of what it was before modern commercial whaling significantly reduced their numbers during the early 1900s, but populations are increasing globally. The primary threats blue whales currently face are vessel strikes and entanglements in fishing gear. While there have been various whaling laws enacted by countries all over the years, that hasn't stopped them from happening under the guise of being official government business or just being done illegally by poaching. If these whales are lost due to poaching, it's not just a major loss for the oceans, it's a major loss for the world as a whole. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Acapulco Beach Creature it's a well-known fact of life that sometimes creatures of the deep don't get found by people in the waters of the world. Rather, they just tend to wash up on the shore and boggle everyone's mind because they had no idea that such a creature ever existed before. That's honestly how things like the oarfish and squids were discovered. In this raw video from Civil Protection and Fire Acapulco that lasts a little over a minute and a half, an unidentified observer is seen prodding a very large, mysterious creature with a stick. As the observer continues to check it over, the mysterious creature lying on the sand does not appear to move or even respond to being prodded. After being examined a little more, it's said to be about 13 feet long and definitely had bones, meaning that it was not a remnant of something non-living, but indeed a creature that was alive before washing up. An official said that the creature had spent a long time floating in the strong currents caused by bad weather which brought it to the shore. Now before you have a panic about what might wash up on your shore, nine and a half out of ten of these creatures are just dead ones that have been decomposed or malformed by the oceans, such as when a whale whale will die, get washed up, and is in a bloated state to the extent that you can't even tell what it is anymore. And that was more likely the case in this one. Number 18. 30-Foot Anaconda 
Snakes are something that are absolutely around you more than you'd like to think about, depending on where you live. And depending on your area and location, you might have to deal with big snakes or even venomous ones and so forth. So you definitely want to be mindful of that, such as is the story that almost seems too good to be true, despite it being caught on camera. Brazilian construction workers were blown away when a slithering serpent wound up on their site. A snake on a work site is honestly never a good thing, as that can cause panic and disruption. But now imagine that happening with a massive snake, as was the case in this one. The snake was reportedly 33 feet long and weighed near nearly 900 pounds. Workers were then forced to use a crane to lift it out of the construction site so that they could get back to work. Now, there are some things to note here, including that the video may have not been entirely truthful in various ways, not the least of which is that some believe that this is actually a video from Indonesia and not Brazil, not to mention the snake is much larger than most anacondas out there. Are there even 30 plus snakes out there in the world? Well, yeah, but they're a rarity. This is why you don't always believe what you see on the internet, because it might come back to haunt you if you're not careful. Number 17. Downtown Jacksonville Dinosaur As you might have already guessed, the video's not exactly what you'd be expecting right off the bat. Obviously, because if there was a dinosaur out there in the world right now, it'd be one of the biggest news stories of the century, if not the entire millennium. But that's obviously not the case, despite the raw footage of the video you're watching now. Because in fact, what's going on is that the Jacksonville Zoo decided to make their own dinosaur exhibit by bringing the creatures back to life via the DNA of insects and, oh, that's Jurassic Park. What they really did was make lifelike animatronic dinosaurs so that they could showcase what they would have been like back in prehistoric times, as well as bring in all sorts of interesting things to their zoo. This longer video goes into greater detail about their animated dinosaurs and what they are, who they were back in prehistoric times, and more. Now, while it's not what many people would likely have hoped to see in terms of found footage of a dinosaur, we should all probably be grateful that dinosaurs are extinct. After all, most of them towered over humans and had bodies that could wreck things like cars and buildings. And would you want a Triceratops or a T-Rex going and raging around on your street? I didn't really think so. So just go and settle for the zoo stuff and we'll go from there. Number 16. Cassowary Birds are honestly one of the most diverse creatures out there in the world in terms of size and capabilities. Just think about it. You can have a bird as small as a hummingbird that has to flap its wings thousands of times in a few seconds to keep aloft, or you can have something like an ostrich, a nine-foot bird that can run as fast as a car at some points. And just like other creatures, the bigger the bird, the bigger the danger, which is proven very easily with the cassowary. The cassowary are one of the biggest land birds out there behind the ostrich and the emu. The difference, though, is that while those other two birds could hurt you if you provoke them, the cassowary is actually able to kill you with ease due to its claws, and it's killed multiple times over the years, including one man in Florida. This happened in Gainesville, and apparently the man that was killed by the bird was its own owner. Now he fell, and the cassowary acted upon that opportunity and took his life. There's a reason why people in cassowary territory know to give this bird a wide berth, they don't want to risk getting on its bad side. Now, if you want further proof of the body of evidence of cassowaries, the San Diego Zoo's website calls them the world's most dangerous bird with a 10 centimeter dagger-like claw on each foot. Number 15, human-sized jellyfish. When most people picture a jellyfish, they picture something that's small yet stingy that can be found all over the world. But what people often forget is that one of the reasons they're so dangerous in the oceans is that they can grow to an impressive size as one diver would find out. This incredible creature, a barrel jellyfish, would be spotted near Falmouth by broadcaster and biologist Lizzie Daly, who described the encounter as breathtaking. Daly, who was 
exploring the waters as part of her campaign, Wild Ocean Week, added the jellyfish was as big as she was. Barrel jellyfish are the largest species of jellyfish in British seas, but it's extremely rare to spot one the size that Daly did. These things typically grow to be up to 3.2 feet in length, but as she would note, it was as big as she was, and obviously a lot larger when you take it from a mass and roundness perspective. Thankfully, this wasn't the kind of jellyfish that stings people just for being near them, and if you're thinking that this is the biggest jellyfish out there in the world, you would be wrong as that one goes to the lion's mane jellyfish. Growing up to 120 feet long with bells up to 8 feet wide, the lion's mane jelly is the largest known jelly species out there. They can have up to 1,200 tentacles, which originate from under the bell in eight distinct clusters of 70 and 150 tentacles each. So yeah, just imagine swimming next to that thing. You wouldn't be able to tell where it ended given its length. Number 14. Giant Pacific Octopus When it comes to the creatures of the deep, two that fascinate me and also terrify me even more than anything else in the world is that of the octopus and the squid, mainly because they're creatures that have unique qualities and forms, and the giant Pacific octopus is a great example of that. The giant Pacific octopus grows bigger and lives longer than any other octopus species. The size records held by a specimen that was 30 feet across and weighed more than 600 pounds. Averages are more like 60 16 feet and 110 pounds, but that still makes it an impressively sized creature and one that is much larger than humans in terms of length, if not weight. Another curious element of these creatures is that while they are rather large, they don't actually live that long. Their average lifespan is about four years, which is really short when you compare it to other fish in the sea, pun intended. Tying into that is that the females of the species live just long enough to give birth to children, and then they soon die afterwards. Not exactly the most fulfilling life now, isn't it? Well, you might want to hold off on that, because while they may die after childbirth, they apparently lay a whole lot of eggs, up to 120,000 and 400,000 eggs. Yeah, you heard that right. Talk about growing a family in a hurry. Given all those numbers, it's honestly a little bit odd that we don't see more octopuses out in the ocean. Number 13, Giant Oarfish. Now, we actually mentioned the oarfish earlier, but I'll go into more depth with it here. When the first oarfish washed up on the shores of our world, a lot of people thought it was a hoax, mainly because it had a very bony body and was more serpent-like than any other fish or ocean creature that anyone had seen at the time. But as they would examine it, they realized that it was in fact very real. The real shock, though, was that later on, everyone learned that these creatures loved to dwell deep within the oceans of the world, and as a result, it's honestly a bit of a miracle when they do wash up on the shore, because they honestly really shouldn't. However, we do see them every once in a while, and sometimes we even see them when they're alive. In fact, a giant 15-foot oarfish would be spotted in the Sea of Cortez near Baja, California. While we've seen them, though, to study them's a different matter altogether, as these deep-sea fish like to keep to themselves, and thus we only know just a few things about them. For example, the oarfish has a very strict diet where they primarily feed on zooplankton, along with selectively taking part in shrimp and other crustaceans from the water. Small fish, jellyfish, and squid are also food for these oarfish, and large open ocean carnivores are all likely predators, though we obviously don't know which ones for sure as of this moment. Number 12. Giant Oceanic Manta Ray from one of the curious creatures in the water, we now go on to talk about one that people love to be up close to, the giant oceanic manta ray. But why is this one so special? Well, first and foremost, it's incredibly friendly to humans, and that's why people are able to get a lot of footage of the creature. The other big thing is that these are truly gigantic ocean creatures. Apparently, they can reach a width of up to 29 feet, which is over four times the size of an average human 
human. You'd be dwarfed by this manna if you found one in the ocean. For many decades, there was only one known species, but scientists have recently divided that species into two. The giant manta ray, which is a more oceanic species, and the reef manta ray, which is more coastal in nature. Remember how I said that they're friendly, though? Well, that also applies to how they eat, because they're what's known as filter feeders, unlike the mighty whale shark. These creatures constantly swim along with their large mouths open, filtering plankton and other small food from the water. And to aid in this strategy, giant mantas have specialized flaps known as cephalic lobes, which help direct more water and food into their mouths. So you're honestly in no danger if you do meet one in the waters of the world, but do be careful just in case, because that big old body could still end up hurting you. Number 11. Deep Sea Dragon A deep sea diver sparked an underwater mystery after discovering a giant skeleton that no one could identify at the time. Footage taken in 2017 from a remote-operated vehicle some 830 meters below sea level shows a large set of bones, which includes a seemingly intact spinal column measuring a massive 30 meters in length. The mysterious skeleton has come to light after the diver operating the underwater robot sent the footage to paranormal researcher Deborah Hatswell, clearly feeling that there could be a spooky explanation behind the bones. The diver who first spotted the mystery remains thinks that based on his previous discoveries, it could have far more ancient origins. Now that may seem a little basic given the bones themselves, but you do need to remember a very basic thing about the world. We don't know about all the creatures that live in it right now, and certainly not about the ones that lived back in prehistoric times. Remember, we often learn about creatures from the past via the fossil record. However, not all creatures leave fossils, and just because they do leave them doesn't mean we'll find them in good time. As a result, this deep sea dragon, as some like to call it, might be a remnant from a very old creature, one that hasn't been discovered yet, or it could be that it actually actually is from a creature that we know about, but just don't have all the pieces to realize it. Chalk this one up to another mystery of the ocean. Number 10. Giant Gippsland Earthworm now, if you've never heard of the giant Gippsland earthworm, you don't need to worry about it too much. This one is only found in small areas of South and West Gippsland, Victoria. So thus, if you don't live there, you're not even within range to actually find it. The reason you're hearing about it now, though, is that it is one of the largest earthworms in the world, often exceeding one meter in length. That's one really long worm. However, if the worm is that large, how is it that it's a special thing to be seen on camera? Well, that's because they really do love to live underground and rarely come out of their earthly homes. Just as bad, their frames are a bit delicate, aren't we all? <laughs> and thus, if you even try to handle one of these worms, you could do some damage to it. It's also a species which dies in captivity and isn't really suitable for captive breeding, and that makes it even more important important to preserve and maintain the populations of this worm, so don't worm your way out of your responsibilities, will you? Number 9. Brutus the Croc when it comes to crocodiles, they're known for being big and heavy creatures that people can't help but film for one reason or another. And if they get eaten due to that, we'll chalk it up to natural selection. It's easy to go and film a small croc. You can find those at the zoo. But when it comes to a beast like Brutus, that's a completely different story. You'll find him located in the Adelaide River in Queensland, Australia. He's 18 feet long, which is only a few feet shorter than the largest croc ever spotted. And what's more, Brutus has apparently been around for a while, even been seen in the area for over 30 years. That should tell you multiple things about these crocodiles, but the biggest one of them all is simple. It's that you don't screw with them ever. Because should you be dumb enough to do that, you're going to be croc food in the end. Number 8. Coconut Crab when it comes to crabs, they're honestly rather small creatures, and for good reason. 
they don't need to be big in order to survive. But there are two species that do stand out from the pack as giants, and one of them is the coconut crab. To be clear, this isn't the biggest crab by pure length, but in terms of mass, the thing is a beast. This massive crustacean can grow to be as much as nine pounds and three feet in length. That may not seem like a whole lot at first. However, when you approach one, you're going to be backing up sooner rather than later. They're called the coconut crab because they can climb up trees and use their massive claws to crush coconuts. They can also kill and eat birds, and even humans would get hurt or even possibly killed if they screw with them. So do everyone a favor, keep an eye on this crab from a distance, because if you get too close, you'll reveal that you're coconuts yourself. Number 7. Knickers Now, I want you to picture a cow. Picture your favorite cow. Maybe it's a cow that you drive by. A cow in a pasture. What does that cow look like to you? Well, think about one that you may have seen in the news when they interviewed a farmer, or one that you met in person. Just picture it, specifically about how big that cow was. The reason you're doing that is because in Australia, there's a cow that will defy all logic, expectations, and any kind of image that you may have formed in your mind, and its name is Knickers. I'll leave the obvious joke alone here and just move on. Western Australian man and Lake Preston owner Jeff Pearson reared the seven-foot-tall, 1,400-kilogram steer named Knickers on his property and told the news that because of his size, they couldn't sell him for export. Now, I've got a little bit of trouble believing that because that would mean that no one would find a way to get this cow. Trust me, when it comes to getting something for a collection, life just seems to find a way. Regardless, could you actually imagine standing next to a cow that's nearly seven feet tall? Not long, but tall. Granted, it's only about six foot four in actuality, but that's still a tall cow. Think about what it's like to milk that thing and hope that it doesn't lie down on you and crush you to death. Could you even imagine what it would be like if all cows were this big? It would be utter chaos. Number six, Atlas Moth. When it comes to creatures like moths and butterflies, they have a way of surviving that focuses not on their actions per se, but on their looks. Their wings are colored and shaped in such ways that they can deceive predators into thinking that there's something much more dangerous and thus to be left alone. One of the most surprising of the set to do this is the Atlas Moth, because it's one of the biggest moths out there with a wingspan that can measure 9.4 inches in length. But what's really impressive about about it is the pattern that it grows into in order to fool predators. If you look closely at its wings, you're going to notice that they resemble a very different kind of creature in a snake. That's right, their wings look like snakes. So when they're on a tree, they'll look like snakes that are wrapped around it, and most creatures aren't going to dare to approach them out of instinct alone. That just goes to show you that sometimes you only need to look scary instead of be scary for things to leave you be. Number five, giant walking stick. The giant walking stick is the largest of all North American walking sticks, measuring somewhere between 7.5 centimeters and 15 centimeters. That's about 3 to 6 inches in length. Walking sticks in general have bodies that resemble the shape and usually the color of sticks, twigs, or branches from a tree. The reason for this is hopefully very obvious. After all, if you saw a stick on a branch that stuck out a little, would you even care or possibly even notice it to begin with? More than likely not, and that's what the giant walking stick is banking on. It looks as harmless as possible so that predators may not notice it, but leave it alone because they'll think it's just a piece of wood. Of course, there's a trade-off to all of this, the biggest part of it being that they're rather slow, and due to their wooden frame, they can be a bit fragile. So if you do see one, you can observe it, but you should absolutely leave it alone in terms of touch. Number four, capybara. Pop quiz, folks. What is a capybara? You might have seen one up close if you're in the right spot, but 
what are they exactly? Capybara are in fact the largest rodent in the world today, but don't worry. You don't have to worry about an invasion of them or have them behave like rats because they're honestly much better than that. These impressive semi-aquatic mammals are found throughout much of northern and central South America, though a small invasive population has been seen in Florida. They act a lot like beavers at points in that they prefer to swim around, complete with their webbed feet. But an irony of these creatures is that despite them being rodents, they actually make good pets and are very social creatures. Though apparently they're so social that you're going to need to get two of them just so they always have someone to interact with. Number 3. Giant African Land Snail the giant African land snail is a perfect example of why certain creatures need to be left alone in their own habitats and not be brought to different parts of the world. Because while it's true that they can make good pets if you're smart, they can also be an invasive species that can decimate certain ecosystems. And if you don't believe me, just ask Florida. They had an invasion of these things and it took 10 years to get rid of them. One of the largest terrestrial snails, full-grown adults can reach almost 8 inches long and 5 inches in diameter. And the reason they can be invasive is that they can lay about 1,200 eggs a year. So yeah, you should probably keep them away from your territory. Number 2. Komodo Dragon while it's true that the fantasy version of a dragon doesn't exist in the world today, for better and for worse, there are things out there that can embody what a dragon might be in a realistic setting. And the Komodo dragon is a perfect example of that. They're the biggest lizards in the world today and are so large that they can actually dwarf a human as they can reach over 10 feet in length and weigh over 300 pounds. Just as bad, they also have a venomous bite. Ooh, ouch. Komodo dragons are large lizards with long tails, strong and agile necks, and sturdy limbs. This makes them the apex predators of the island that they're on, and a very powerful and aggressive species that has to be seen to truly be believed. Granted, they don't actually breathe fire and can't fly, which personally disappoints me, but they are still as close to dragons as you're going to get on this planet. That is until someone makes one in a genetic experiment and we all die soon after in a colossal invasion of them. Number 1. Giant Amazon Leech Leeches, well, they suck. Literally and metaphorically. They're not exactly a creature that you'd want on you at any time. But why? Well, because they suck. But if you want to know where the biggest ones on Earth can be found, and why would you, that would be in the Amazon. Another place where all sorts of magical things happen. The giant Amazonian leech is one that's so big and terrifying, it can grow to be 18 inches long. But the worst part? They were believed to be extinct for decades until two more were found. And then when one female was studied, it ended up giving birth to over 700 of these little monsters. So yeah, don't go near the areas where this thing lives and you can thank me later. That's all from the realm of big animals within the world. Were you surprised by some of these sightings of massive creatures? Which ones were you shocked that people thought were real even though they most definitely were not? And do you know of another large animal that should be on our list? Let us know in the comments below. Also be sure to check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen. And I'll see you next time.